Good morning. It's Tuesday, February 6th, and today's title is A Clear Conscience. There are many precious things that we can possess. Health, love, friends, a great family. These are all great blessings. But perhaps one of the most important of all is a clear conscience. Our conscience functions as an internal monitor of our outward lives. A conscience needs to attach itself in a high perfect standard. God's law. God wrote his law on the heart of Adam, but sin almost obliterated it. Not just in him, but in his descendants also. Only fragments of the law remain. Gentiles show that the requirements of these laws are written on their hearts, their consciousness also bearing witness. Romans 2 verse 15. Jesus succeeded where Adam failed because God's law was within his heart. Ellen White says, The cobweb closet of the conscience is to be entered. The windows of the soul are to be closed earthward and thrown wide open heavenward that the bright beams of the sunlight of righteousness may have free access. The mind is to be kept clear and pure that it may distinguish between good and evil. That's from Ellen White, Mind and Character and Personality, Volume 1. When God's law was been inscribed on our heart of the believer, and the believer by faith seeks to follow that law, a clear conscience is the likely result. If you have ever struggled under the strain of a guilty conscience, you know how terrible it can be, how it can be a continuous presence never giving you relief. How can focusing on Jesus and His death on the cross for you and your sin help you free you from this curse of a guilty conscience? Go ahead and write in the comment section below. Thank you for watching today and don't forget to hit that like button. God bless you.